Welcome to what I hope will be a very short tutorial on how to use your Arduino with a photo interrupter. Now I'm using a photo interrupter on a model railway turntable. I've also used one on a traverser and they are a very very useful object. Let's just have a closer look at the actual item. So to make it easier um, in the tutorial I've put numbers on. Um, these photo interrupters, there's lots of different sizes, different shapes. Uh, they have different gaps in the center here. But to make it easy, um, I've numbered the pins with my own numbering system. And I'll explain the wiring as we go along. But basically the way this thing works is on this side, you've got an infrared um, LED. And it passes a light beam through a slot that is received through this slot on the other side with a sensor in here and as long as you block them correctly they are extremely accurate so the most important thing is that the item that's passing through here passes through square um, if you don't have something you know if you have something that sort of half blocks the slot you can get some sort of odd results but on the whole these things are extremely accurate and I use them on a turntable especially because it makes a very useful indexing uh, tool so with a stepper motor obviously it doesn't know where zero is so as the turntable rotates I've got a photo interrupter in there and that indexes the turntable to zero so let's get on with the wiring. So I tried to do a fritzing diagram, but unfortunately I couldn't find the appropriate component. So the um, photo interrupter I'm using is an HY301. This circuit will work with most of the ones that I've tried, but that's the one that's in the picture. And then I've got two 330 ohm resistors and I'm connecting to an Arduino Uno. So on pin one, which has got the H on top of it, that connects uh, with one wire to the um, analog pin zero on the Arduino and also connects to ground through a 330 ohm resistor. So it's basically acting as sort of a pull down resistor. The Y pin just connects to your Arduino five volts. Now on the other side, pins three and four, which are basically controlling an LED, you'll need to connect pin three uh, to five volts through a 30, 330 ohm resistor, and pin four connects to ground. So once again, a quick picture of the unit so that you can see which pins are which. And don't forget, all of the information is on the Digital Town website. There'll be a link uh, below the video so that you can find the uh, relevant information. Now I've also taken a couple of photos of the actual setup that I have just to give you an idea and again these are the two pictures one from above and one slightly from the side showing that wiring diagram. So now we've got the wiring done, let's have a look at the code. And I'm going to be honest with you, this has got to be one of the shortest bits of code that I've ever done. So we have one variable um, that I'm going to call photo interrupter state. I've then got serial uh, 9600 9, and obviously I just as usual print something out just at the beginning so that I know that it's working. And then all I've got is a loop and a delay. Um, I don't like delays normally, but something this simple, let's just use delay so that we can understand. So every half a second, every 500 milliseconds, it's polling the analog. So it basically, we get the value of the photo interrupter state by reading the value of analog pin zero. And then I'm just printing that out to the serial monitor. And as you can see, I've got the timestamp on so that we can see that I've got a steady value there of 447448. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a piece of metal through the center of the photo interrupter and bang, drop straight down to zero. 
take it out the value comes up now you'll notice as I lifted it very slightly I'm going to lift it up very slowly you can get just the odd um, weird value so what I do in my sketches um, for the turntable I have a basically I say if this value drops below 50 then I'll assume you know something's blocking its way now one little thing I put a piece of metal through first time I'm now going to put a piece of white plastic for those who you build model railways it's a piece of plastic card and just watch the value now you notice the value drops down to about 5960 that's because it's a piece of white plastic card and some of the infrared light is passing through the plastic card and being read on the other side the reason i've just shown you that is it's important to realize that the material that you use will have an effect on how much light goes through so on my turntables and traverses i actually pass a piece of brass through and again try and keep the um whatever you're passing through as um, square to the slot as possible so that the whole slot is blocked in one go now these things are extremely accurate on my turntable I reckon it's down to about a hundredth of a degree um, when the turntable is turning so you know a very very small distance indeed and absolutely perfect for indexing a stepper motor and that's about all there is to um, this video today that's about the tutorial um, the great thing you can do is once you've got used to these things I've done projects where I've had multiple um, photo interrupters being polled or you can poll a single one but as you can see it's pretty easy again all the information is on the Digital Town website so thanks for watching and if it's uh, been useful please click the like and subscribe bye for now